I found these two at the Dollar Tree and I'll also be using some potty mix. Because my pots are so small, I'll be breaking the succulent up and putting it into three different pots. I'm using some of the soil from the plant as well as some of the potty mix. So this plant here, I got from Ikea for $1.99. They also had a bigger version that cost more, so that just lets me know that this plant will grow. So I can just pay for the $1.99 and just have some patience and watch it grow. This plant here was $7.99. I really like this plant. An aloe plant. I wish I would've got two of these, um, honestly. Aloe is so good for the skin, good for the hair. So it's like, this plant is actually useful. This is my fave. It was $9.99. And just look at how it braids around. It's so cute. So yeah, I like this one a lot. So I wanna put this one by my bedside because I just wanna see it all the time. I think it's so cute. I wanted a big plant. And so the cheapest one I found besides this one was $30 from Home Depot. A lot of the fake plants cost way more than the real plants. Like, I don't know. I just didn't think fake plants would cost that much. But um, like a bigger tree, um, a taller tree, I wanted to put like a tall tree in the corner of my room. So for those taller trees, I went to Hobby Lobby, they had 50% off. Even at 50% off, these plants were like $60, $70. I was like, was not trying to go there today, okay? So I was like, I might as well just buy a real plant. So Home Depot had very nice, um, like medium sized trees for 30 bucks. So Home Depot, I would recommend. And actually, even though this one was on clearance, I guess it was only $20. So this is the uh, clearance deal. I was so happy I found this for 10 bucks. So yeah, and this is a yucca cane tree. And I think it's really cute. But I like how it, um, it just has those different, it just looks different. This pot is one of my DIYs. I love this so much. It was so easy and fun to make. I'll leave a link to that video down below so you can check it out. And for this plant, I'm just doing the same as last time, breaking it up and adding the soil. I found this pot at Walmart and I just love how it fits the aesthetic and theme of my new space perfectly. When I took this plant out of the pot that it came in, I noticed that it had two more little roots trying to bud, so I needed to find a much bigger pot in order to give them some room to grow. This completes my collection of indoor potted plants. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you'd like to see where I place these plants in my space, tune into my room transformation video. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and give this a thumbs up. Please subscribe and share to anyone that can benefit. Be blessed, guys, and have a wonderful rest of your day.